हेलो वेलकम एवरीवन टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर 19 अरेस गिग फॉर गिग स्मार्ट लूप कोडिंग क्वेश्चंस जस्ट हैव अ क्विक लुक एट द क्वेश्चन एंड वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द अप्रोच सून नाउ कमिंग टू द अप्रोच वी हैव एन एग्जांपल ऑन द स्क्रीन एंड यू कैन सी द सेम एग्जांपल ऑन द गिग फॉर गिग वेबसाइट आल्सो सो व्हाट डज दिस क्वेश्चन मीन सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग दैट व्हाटएवर द लेफ्ट साइड एलिमेंट्स आर देयर दैट एलिमेंट शुड बी स्मॉलर and whatever right side elements are there that should be greater than the current element so by that so output is 5 5 is the answer let's just discuss why it is 5 is an answer so suppose this is an answer for this question right now the question is saying left side element should all be smaller so left side elements including the 5 here okay including 5 left side element should be smaller and we won't be taking the corner points as an answer 4 and 7 will not be included okay now 4 and 2 is smaller than 5 and now 7 is greater than 5 according to the question right so if we can mean uh, this other way to understand like the maximum element whatever the maximum element from the left side will be which is 4 here right here 4 4 here whatever the maximum element is there that should be smaller than the current value which was 5 according to the answer and similarly on the right side right side should be greater right so right side should always be greater that means the minimum element from the right side should also be greater so minimum element here there is only one element so this is a minimum element in this case 7 and 7 is greater than the current element so this satisfies the condition that's why we are getting the answer 5 here so now coming to the coding part how we were doing now we will divide this into the left and right part right now we have got in the left most minimum sorry left most maximum value to the current value we are comparing similarly the right most minimum value we are comparing right so this condition will be used after getting the left most maximum values and right most minimum value now we will take a variable left max and right min and we will initialize with the length of the array given as none after initializing <coughs> after initializing we find out for the responding positions like this is index number 0 similarly 1 and 2 3 similarly here also 0 index 1 index 2 index and 3 index now for 0 index and you should include this current element also and compare to the left side in the array so array example we have is 4 at the 0 index right including that four to the left side so minimum i mean sorry maximum value remember maximum value left max that's we wrote left max so maximum value to the left side is four here at the zero index now coming to the first index also we first index including two two and four out of two and four maximum is four here again similarly if we take for fifth here we should include this element five also here five two four what's the maximum element to the left side from the second index which is 5 here similarly here including 7 we get 7 value as a maximum value here now for the minimum value so we have to take the minimum value from the right side similarly on the right side we have to check for zero index which is 4 including 4 we have to check all to the right side what is the smallest element so 2 is the answer here so we will be writing 2 here then again including 2 for next index again 2 here now we are at the third i mean second index here So second index and third index are the only remaining. Out of five and seven, five is the minimum, and the last index will always remain seven here. So here you can observe that uh, at the left max four never change, and the right minimum <coughs> seven doesn't change at the boundary value. So this question doesn't include the boundary values. We have to take the mid values here. Okay, at the output. Okay now. After getting the left maximum values and right minimum values, we have to compare. So I had I discussed this example here at the start. Four should be smaller than five. Similarly, we we will be comparing the element at zero index. We have four here, right? And the array value at the zero index, which is four again. So four is should be smaller than equal to four, right? Or smaller than equal to four? Yes, it satisfied. Array is this one. we have to use this an array here. Okay, four is smaller than four. Yes, the left max is satisfied here. right and now we are checking right a minimum value okay similarly for the right minimum we have two here but array value is four and right most minimum value that should be greater right right most minimum value is two here so this is two right most minimum value is two and two is not greater two is smaller but we need this to be greater or equal so it is not possible so the first zero index we don't have the answer so this for zero index 
for first index we will be checking again from this point on we will be keeping the values of left max right minimum uh, at the right side here okay and we will be comparing they can be equal also if they are equal there also no problem but they should be greater or equal okay now first index we have four again here that is the value of the left max here left max will be here and the value at the array is which is two array value we have two and i told that the minimum value should be smaller right but it is greater here it doesn't satisfy we don't don't have to check the second condition at the index 2 which is 5 here right we got the 5 value in the array and the left max value which is also 5 here so they can be equal or to or smaller they can be equal or smaller so this condition is satisfied here now we will be checking the other condition which is right minimum so in right minimum the right side value should be greater than the current value. Current value is 5 in the array and rightmost value here is also 5 here. So 5 can be greater than equal. So this condition also satisfies here and here as well. So this is included in the answer. Similarly, the third condition you may see. We see the third condition also matches. But remember what I have told the third condition we don't include the boundary values here we don't include any boundary values and there is only one answer in the question he didn't mention there will be multiple answers we have to only find the one element so if you find the element you can stop here and you don't have to continue to the third index and the third index also will become true but we were not including the boundary values in the question so according to the question this is the answer I hope you have understood the method. If you don't understand, please just repeat the video again. Now, if you still don't understand, well, let's go to the coding part and you will be having much clearer idea. So this is the coding part of the question. So in this coding part, what we are doing, we have taken the left max box here. Left max, we have initialized with the length of the array as none. And after that, we have taken the value first value of the left max array and initialize as the zeroth index. As I told the boundary conditions doesn't change. So we are already including it. Uh, we are already initializing the boundary values for left max. The left side is always same. So we have taken. So we don't have to repeat inside the question. Okay. We have taken and initialized here. Then we have taken the loop. And what this loop is basically doing is uh, we are getting the maximum values for the current element okay we're getting max value of the current element which is here uh, i have ran the code here so this you can see i have printed this function separately if you remove this print function the code will work fine okay yeah, this is for just explaining you the left max what is happening here as i have uh, discussed in the earlier presentation also we get four four five seven values so this for loop is taking the maximum values at the corresponding index and storing it inside the left max okay we got 4457 similarly at the right minimum we initialize the boundary value of right side then this is getting the minimum values from the right side of the uh, index okay we got the minimum value for that after getting minimum and maximum values now we are comparing it so left side maximum value should always be smaller than equal which is true and here also right side minimum value should always be greater than equal to the current value if those both conditions satisfy then we return immediately we don't have to go to uh, another index we can return it directly because there is only one answer in this question i hope you have understood the question if you have any doubt just leave a comment in the below and we will be discussing more questions like this please subscribe and we really need your support to grow this channel thank you if you like the video please share and subscribe if you have multiple email ids please subscribe the channel and we'll be meeting in the next question thank you for watching